Okay, I wanted to uh, reinforce a topic that's in my book, and uh, it is um, dealing with variable reluctance sensors, also known as uh, pickup coils, permanent magnet pulse generators. And what I'm, what I'm teaching is how to do a bypass test. And the way the system is set up that we're using right here is when we turn the distributor, go ahead and turn that. As we turn the distributor, you can see that we're firing the coil. And we just have a rigged up waste spark coil to this distributor. It's really not designed for that, but I'm just doing it for demo purposes. And uh, what's inside of this distributor is a pickup coil. And uh, that is this two wire component on the back inside of here. So this pickup coil right here where the two wires go in is triggering this ignition module. It sends an AC sine wave in right here. Module converts it analog to digital and then is using that signal to control the transistor that's in here that's going to turn that coil on and off. So again, motion magnet conductor and it makes its own voltage. So what I'm going to show is on the car you can actually use the test light to diagnose a no spark on one of these. So I'm going to do a bypass test using a test light and this test light's connected to battery positive. When I touch ground, the test light lights. So what's on the on the tip of this test light is 12 volts. And uh, what we want to do is we're going to use this and we're going to do uh, what's called, what I call a VRS, variable reluctance sensor bypass test. And what I'm going to do is touch it on and off the P pin, which is a positive pin or the, the sensor positive wire. And I'm just touching that on and off. And as I'm touching that on and off, you can see over here that the coil is firing every time. So the situation would be on the car, it's a no spark no start and you're not sure if the module's bad, you're not sure if the wiring's bad, you're not sure if the pickup's bad or the coil. Well, if you do this bypass test, what that tells you if everything responds is it tells you the module's good, the wiring's good, the coil's good, and then your focus is going to go toward the pickup coil. So that is a variable reluctance sensor bypass test. That can be done on anything on the car that uses this type of input. It can be done on, a, on an ABS wheel speed sensor. You wouldn't be looking for spark in that case. You'd be looking for a mile per hour change on scan data. It can be used on a distributor as I've shown. It can be also used on waste spark ignitions where you can trigger the module doing the same thing. VRS bypass test, section 21 in my book. Okay, continued bypass testing. This is a 1996 3100 GM. Uh, and the ignition design on this is a, a waste spark system. There are three coil packs. They are uh, near the firewall here. Try to zoom in on them so you see them. And I have two plug wires off the one coil already. Uh, the design on this, just talk about it for a second. Uh, the crank sensor signal is a pickup coil type signal. It is a permanent magnet pulse generator. There's a lot of different names for these, um, also known as variable reluctance sensors. And what this thing does is it makes its own voltage. It's an AC sine wave and it sends the signals in on this module and it's a purple and yellow wire on all these designs. Purple and yellow coming from the crank sensor. Uh, the yellow is the sensor positive, purple sensor negative. And knowing that this module needs the crank signal, just this one signal to fire these coils, if you understand circuit design, you can actually use a test light and you can bypass that crank sensor signal with a test light, make that signal go high-low. Now granted, it won't be a sine wave. The module doesn't necessarily need it to be a sine wave. It just needs the signal to go high and low. So we're gonna substitute that with the test light. And when I do this test, you're gonna see that it is going to spark this coil. So I'll, I'll do the test, you watch the coil, and then I'll show you where I'm doing it at. Touching the test light on and off. You can see that it's firing that coil. And if I had all these plug wires off, you'd notice at random times it's going to fire different coils. So all I've done is I've taken a test light, connected the battery positive. Test light, test light is going to light when I find the ground. Is that in there? Can you see it? Okay. So test light to battery positive. I'm going to create voltage in that circuit where I was triggering that. Let me show you. 
Okay, I'm at the two pin connector on the side of the ignition module. And this is uh, this two pin connector right here. This is your crank sensor wires. The yellow wire is your crank positive, purple's crank negative. AC sine wave it makes. Uh, what I was doing, I was touching the test light on and off this T pin right here. And every time I touch that on and off, you can actually hear the fuel pump turn on too because the computer's actually receiving an RPM signal. Module's receiving the impulses it needs. It's firing the coils at random. Very valuable test if you have a car like this come in and it's a no spark situation and uh, you're not sure if the module's bad or the wiring's bad or the crank sensor's bad and you can do a crank sensor bypass test just using a test light. If that car sparks when you do this test and it didn't spark before during normal cranking, you can be pretty confident you need a crank sensor that that would be the direction you were going. And all, all you're using is a test light and you're connected to battery positive and again, you're touching on and off that yellow crank sensor positive signal wire. That's it, that's a VRS, variable reluctance sensor bypass test using a test light.